Hi, this is Roro from Roro Rants, and this video is about some research I did um, because I thought Hillary was spelling her name with one L and changed it from two L's to one L, and I thought it was a Mandela effect. I still don't know if this was a Mandela effect. It could be that they just, she had people doing her stuff for her and they spelled her name wrong and then she realized that they fucked up and they hurried up and changed everything for her. But it was just kind of odd for me because what happened was when I found out about the Mandela effect, I was looking, I noticed last year uh, around the time during her campaign, everything was spelled with one L. And I thought, I always thought Hillary spelled her name with two L's. So I thought maybe this is a Mandela effect. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do some research and see if I can find things that are spelled with two L's. Now, if you always remember it that way, and that's the way she's spelling it now, then this doesn't apply to you. But in my reality, during her campaign, during the primary and during part of the general campaign, she was spelling her name with one L. And I did some research and I'm gonna show pictures here. I have this folder that I made and as you can see, these screenshots were done 2016, September 7th and 8th. This was on a Wednesday and a Thursday. And I took some shots of her Twitter and Facebook accounts and her web page just to show, look, she's spelling it with one L. But at the time, that's how she was spelling it. So these were not evidence at the time. Now they are. But at the time, I was just showing it as, hey, look, she's, she's spelling it with one L, but this is not how I remember it. So if you look at these files, there it is. Hillary's Twitter page with one L. And here is Hillary's Facebook with one L. Or is that her Twitter page? I don't know. One of them's her Facebook. This is her Twitter page. This is her Facebook page. <laughs> Sorry. Well, looks like they're both Twitter pages. I know one of, she had her Facebook too. I don't know. Anyway, and here is her website with Hillary Clinton with one L. The official campaign website for Hillary Clinton is paid for by Hillary of America. Oh, this is weird because now this is even this is even weirder because even though she was spelling her name with one L, it's saying that the official campaign website is with two L's. And so this is why I was saying something's wrong here. Why do her Twitter pages and Facebook and everything have one L, but then you get this notice when you want to go to her page and it says Hillary for America with two L's and so everything was just really weird and I had some other evidence which now these things have changed because I found this one thing which was a this was a um, an ad it said you know work for Hillary Clinton now it's got one L there but when I took this this um, snap of this, it had two L's because I was using it for evidence, that evidence of two L's. Now it has one L. So somehow the things that were with one L got switched back to two L's again. So that's really weird. This one here, same thing. Now it's with one L. So I don't know what's going on. This is really weird. And then the rest of these are all 
books of hers that were on sale in eBay. And the one thing I thought that was really strange about this is all of these books, some of them had one L, some of them had two Ls. I really don't know. I don't remember. I have a bad memory. I think some of them still have one L. There's like one book that still has one L. It's the children's book. And I think they're just leaving it like that, saying, oh, that author got her name wrong and they're not changing it. But every single person that was listing the book at that time is listing it with one L. Now you think every single person at that time that was selling her books on eBay would really spell her name wrong? Does that make any sense at all that every single person would list their eBay with her name spelled wrong? She was spelling it with one L. So anyway, these were all done on a Wednesday and Thursday. I took all these snaps and I was gonna find evidence with two L's and I was gonna post it on, you know, make a Mandela post and say, look, you know, she's spelling her name different. It's a Mandela effect, which right now I'm wondering, it's just, maybe it's just people spelling their name different. It might not even be a Mandela effect. Then over the weekend, what happened? That was 9-11, the ceremony. And Hillary had that episode where she passed out. She looked like death. She was pale. Some people said that she looked like she was dead. She, you know, really bad. She didn't even go to the hospital. She went to her daughter's apartment. And then an hour later came out of her daughter's apartment and she looked fine. That was kind of weird. And after that weekend, it must have been like either that Sunday night or maybe the next day on the 12th was when I saw the news clips and I remembered, oh yeah, I got to go make that video and lo and behold <laughs> i went to make the video and all of her stuff had two l's again her twitter page two l's her facebook page two l's so i figured oh well there's all that research i did for nothing and i just so i just didn't do anything but then Around April or so, I don't know, I was in one of the chat rooms or somewhere talking about it, and I got this idea that, well, that itself was kind of weird that that happened. That I, I heard of people saying that they saw things change while they were, like, I had thought that this Mandela effect was something that changed at one certain time, in reality and then that was it all the changes took place at one time and then that was it it was over but people said things keep changing and it's a continuous thing and there's no such thing as time anymore that everything is happening simultaneously and changes could happen they could happen back again and whatever so i went back in april and i found all these files i had saved them so i thought okay i'm glad i saved all these files so i you know Thought, I'm gonna do a video on this and that was back in April and I made this little thing showing that you know the dates on these screenshots were you know September 7th and 8th and I remembered that it was after she had passed out at the World Trade Center ceremony and then you know that was in April and here it is June and I still haven't made the video I've been busy I haven't been making many videos lately because I've been busy. I joined a karaoke league and I've been doing a lot of sewing. I'm going on a cruise, so I want to have to make some new clothes. So anyway, I am going to have post these pictures of this stuff up if you want to look at it, if you want to analyze it, see if you guys find anything strange about these pictures, these snaps that I made. You're welcome to look through them. I don't know what to make of it. I don't know if it's a Mandela effect or not now. I'm really confused. So just wanted to put them out there because I've been saying I'm going to do it. So there it is. So that's it for today. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.